Hey, it's Tom. Uh, good morning. I hope your Tuesday's going well. Before we talk about what's going on at DFACS this week, I think we need to take a moment and talk about what's going on in our nation. Like you, I've been saddened, frustrated, and at times fearful about what I see happening. Uh, how the unjust use and abuse of power and the lack of basic respect for human dignity have led to the loss of the lives of Mr. Arbery here in Georgia, Mr. Floyd in Minnesota, Ms. Kentucky, uh, Ms. Taylor in Kentucky and, and others. The impact I feel I know is minor compared to the pain that our African American colleagues are feeling. As you, you can readily see in th these victims of abuse, your sons, your fathers, your husbands, and yourselves. I'm sorry for the pain you're experiencing and I want you to know that it's okay not to be okay. I don't always know what to say in these situations, but I do know that we will never get to where we want to be until we start having honest conversations rooted in empathy and compassion. That's the first step toward working together to restore justice and equity to our communities. Now, our organization at DFACS is filled with individuals who have dedicated their careers and lives to helping people in need. But some are struggling financially while others are requiring our protection, but in either case, our work commands us to see ourselves and others and to provide services that reflect a united culture of service. We are, in that sense, well positioned to help fellow Georgians also unite across color, creed, and political lines to stand up for vulnerable citizens. As St. Paul said, we must be like one body, where if one part suffers, all suffer, and if one part rejoices, all rejoice. I think Dr. King really crystallized this idea of a united culture when he wrote these words. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I was impressed by a column I read uh, this, in this morning in the AJC by Lou Deckmore who is the police chief in LaGrange and a true leader in law enforcement. He eloquently made the point that the key to stopping abuse of power by police and others is not more training, but rather is building an agency culture of mutual accountability, collaboration, and respect for human life. I cannot train officers to care, he said, but that commitment is personal and crucial. At DFACS, we're privileged to have employees who care, and we must build a culture of compassion and accountability. Building that culture must be a central, continual, organizing principle of our work. How do we do that? By serving the most vulnerable among us and supporting those on the front lines who serve Georgia's children and families with dignity and respect. We must do our part to ensure that underserved communities can access our services and to improve our relationships with them. So through our State of Hope program, we must partner with communities to help address the unique needs of each one. And although we're making strides, we recognize that there's still a lot of work to done, uh, to be done, excuse me. Through efforts such as our NICWI Workforce Excellence Initiative, we must address race-based disparities build equity across our organization, and ensure that we are as inclusive as we aspire to be in every aspect of our work. These are challenging times, and we'll survive this by working together. You can begin by being open-minded, having difficult conversations, and thinking critically about our own biases. And in doing so, we're, you know we're going to stumble. We're going to inevitably stumble. And we've got to show uh, one another grace in those moments. We must also be courageous and speak up because people who care about each other hold each other accountable. The truth of it is we can, only, uh, we can all do more to make society better and more just. We must continue to work toward progress and demonstrate our commitment to equality by serving with humility, empathy, and kindness. We are not only one defects, but one Georgia and one nation. And let's treat each other and those we serve with honor, dignity, and respect because they all deserve it. Thanks for letting me get that uh, kind of off my chest. Kind of go uh, just in terms of business today. I just want to remind everybody that we did have uh, some damage down at our two Peachtree office. Um, so those offices are closed. We're going to ask everybody to stay away from the um, two Peachtree office for right now. 
unless if you really do need to go down there, please leave by two because we don't know what's going on uh, with uh, both traffic and, and, and crowd crowds down there. Um, I think we've had a lot of discussion in the last week about our budget. As you know, we uh, submitted the 14% cuts. Um, we have shared some of the highlights of that plan. We certainly shared it with the governor's office and legislature, and uh, we'll be in ongoing conversations with uh, the governor's office and the legislature over that in the coming weeks. I really appreciate the fact that everyone has sent in ideas about how to save money. I think I told you I've gotten over 80 pages of ideas. Um, and of course, we have uh, just, in, you know, I want to emphasize nothing on this budget is final until the uh, legislature passes the budget and the governor has signed it. But of course, we have um, tried to let y'all know kind of what we're expecting so that you can plan uh, your coming months in a way that, uh, that you know, both financially and in your, with your time so that you're, uh, you're able to to make necessary uh, steps, take the necessary steps you need to take. Um, some kind of exciting things, we, uh, the TANF uh, uh, application went online, which is the first time in, I guess, history. That's great. So folks can now apply, apply for TANF online. Uh, also really excited that uh, we're, this past week we sent out another uh, $77.9 million in PSNAP benefits. And I thank everyone who has been, worked so hard on that program. Um, we also, uh, just very today, uh, as of today, you can, uh, those who have the have um, uh, SNAP can go online and order uh, from Amazon or Walmart and have those uh, EBT items, the groceries and whatnot, shipped directly to them. So that's exciting. And I just want to con commend all of you that, Despite everything that's going on, despite the pandemic, despite having to work from home, uh, your your uh, timeliness in OFI is is really good. In child welfare, of course, we're uh, celebrating National Reunification Month this month. Um, the idea, of course, is strengthening families together. And I think uh, this kind of goes back to what I started off with. If we treat uh, families with dignity, uh, if we treat uh, of families as the central unit of our society and we respect their uh, the need of parents and children to be together whenever that is possible and we provide the services um, that will enable families to overcome whatever dysfunction they're having uh, then I think we will uphold the values we've been talking about we will create a culture a culture in which uh, defects is not uh, seen as some powerful entity that comes in and and uh, and tells families what to do, but rather is uh, an entity that speaks with authority on issues of um, how you care for your children and how you keep your children safe, and is a trusted source of support when things are not going bad for a family. I want to invite y'all to please. Uh, Send me your ideas um, on how we can improve the culture of this agency, especially the, the in regard to issues of our uh, of equity, of, of race relations, uh, how we can have these hard conversations that we all need to have to become truly one family, uh, one 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 nation, not only uh, under God, but one really one nation on earth of all creeds, colors, beliefs, uh, and you name it. So please send me your ideas. Talk with Tom at dhs.ga.gov. Uh, thank you for continuing to do great work uh, among difficult circumstances, uh, among often painful circumstances. Uh, and we'll, we'll all get through this, but only if we do it together. So thank you all. Bye.